Have you ever wondered where you can find the warmest area in Singapore? A new study has mapped out heat spots in the city's urban centre, where temperatures can be up to six degrees higher than rural surroundings. Conducted by sustainable development consultancy Arab, one surprising street topped this list. Clara Lee tells us more. Green spaces, low-rise buildings, and a close proximity to the Bay Area. You would think such features make Teluk Ayer one of the cooler areas in Singapore. Well, you couldn't be more wrong. According to a new study, this is the warmest spot on the island. And that's because its once coastal roads are now surrounded by high-rise buildings, which block the cooling effect from the nearby coastline. Shop houses here also have dark terracotta roofs, which can reach high temperatures due to solar radiation. When the heat is transferred to air around the buildings, it warms up the entire street. According to the same study, the coolest place in Singapore is right here at Upper Piers Reservoir. About 88% of the area is made up of water and the remaining 12, vegetation. All this helps to absorb heat, which makes it about 6.5 degrees Celsius cooler than where I was in Teluk Aya. This phenomenon, where built-up areas tend to be warmer than rural areas, is known as the urban heat island effect. To counter this, analysts say design elements like increasing tree canopy cover or reflective roofs can cool buildings and reduce the reliance on air conditioning. An exhibition that reimagines Yishun Industrial Park demonstrates how these strategies can be applied. But it might be easier said than done. Many of the parts of the city, including some of the ones that are maybe most prone to, to sort of absorbing and, and radiating heat, are uh, you can't just tear them down and, and rebuild. I, so I think you have to kind of retrofit or somehow make kind of work around existing uh, structures or paints or some kind of cladding that either reflect or somehow just shield the buildings and keep them from absorbing too much sunlight. So, so that can be done, but it, it, it might be costly. For now, some of the easier solutions could be simply by lowering air conditioning in buildings and dressing appropriately for the new thermal norm.